So this is a picture of the baby. That little dot right there. Baby <laughs> Daniels. Um, that was our first that we lost. That was our first that we lost. This is the picture that she actually showed me. Um, was it? We yeah. had this picture like as soon as I told him, we put it up in a, in a, a picture frame. We were just so excited frame. about this yeah, little, so, yeah. this little <laughs> dot. We were just in love with this dot. This little dot. So this yeah. is the picture that she showed me, and I realized it's I was gonna be a dad. Hey guys! We're back! I go by the name of Nick. And I'm Angela. And we're and, and forever. forever. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And click on that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as we release a new video. Yes, we release videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so... You don't want to miss any. You don't want to miss any. So today we're going to do a story time. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell a story of what our trials of trying to get pregnant before we had our first child yes yeah so um i'll let angela take the lead on this one and i'll come behind her because this is truly her story because she had to deal with it deal with it more than i did i just really just witnessed everything that happened i already feel like i'm gonna start crying yeah yeah uh. <laughs> mine's already getting like watery yeah really yeah okay Okay, so yeah, as you can see, it's <laughs> it's that deep, and it's 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 a touchy subject for a lot of people, and I'm sure a lot of people that's clicking this video right now, the reason you probably search this is because you're probably de dealing with it right now. So this is something that we dealt with, and we overcame it, and we've overcome it. Is that overcame, overcome? Yes. Past tense, overcame. Yes. <laughs> so we, we got through it. Yeah. We got through it, mm -hmm. and we got past it, and. It, we healed from it so we're kind of opening a wound right now but we're doing it for somebody out there that needs that may need this video to help them i'll let angela take the lead on telling you how she even found out that she got pregnant so we have been married for nearly seven years now and as soon as we got married um we knew we wanted a family we didn't want one right away though mm -hmm. so we thought we'd like wait probably about two years because like you know, just to get our lives settled, be together. We were living in a one bedroom apartment at the time. Yeah. And so we weren't like actively trying to get pregnant. Yeah. She was actually on the pill during that yes, time. Yes, I was on birth control. She was on birth control. And so when we finally like felt that we were ready to become parents or even start, because like, I don't know if it's like um, a wise tale, like you have to be off the pill for a little while in order for you to get pregnant or to get out of your system. None of that is true, anyways. Mm. So I got off the pill maybe like. 11 months like probably like a year before we said we wanted a child we're like okay let's get off the pills and yeah. just cleanse my body so we got married in 2013 and mm -hmm. you probably got off the pill what were we in this home i feel yeah. like i got off it no i think i got off it a year after we were married oh okay. yeah so and then we just we were trying but not trying mm -hmm. and so um you know like i wasn't getting my hopes up so we were just living our life being a married couple mm -hmm. and then eventually like the desire to want a child was starting to, be, to become like stronger mm -hmm. and I would talk about it more and then like I would see people on my Facebook like people I went to high school with mm -hmm. or friends and coworkers all getting pregnant and seeing that just like made me want to be a mom even more. Mm -hmm. I was never envious of the women I would see being pregnant. I was always happy for them but I know like deep down I wanted that and you would always ask me do you think we're ever gonna have children yeah <laughs> and when do you think it would be she would ask me questions like that and i know she was basically saying i'm ready to have children mm -hmm. and i'm hope i'm hoping i'm even capable of having children so yeah because we were both on the same page so it wasn't like nick are you ready like we knew we wanted to start a family yeah and so time had passed and every month you know we're not pregnant i wasn't even taking tests or anything like 2016 came we bought our first home mm -hmm. and then that's when we really started trying right yeah that's when we like actively started trying i learned how to um just i got really in tune with my body like i could like i knew when i was ovulating i knew like I just knew my body really well. I could tell from a pain that, okay, I'm ovulating this time. We were actually out of town, I believe like in Savannah, visiting um, his family. And I knew that I was probably pregnant then, but I didn't take a test. Mm -hmm. And I didn't tell Nick I either. It was just 
just I was just dealing with this and going through this on my own. And so, so what made you know you were you were pregnant? You, your body was feeling. Yeah. What um, did you feel? I was I I believe I was spotting, but it wasn't like a period spotting. It was just different. Like instantly when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is not normal. And I knew it was like around the time where I could either be pregnant or get my period. When we came home, um, I went to the store and I bought some pregnancy tests and I still hadn't told Nick this at all. And um, I took the test and it was so faint, but if you know, like if it's so, so, so faint, it's still a positive, no matter how faint it is, mm -hmm. it's still a positive. And so I was like, I was so excited. Like I started crying, not boohoo crying. I was just like tears and I was so excited. Mm -hmm. And then I called my sister and I told my sister and I was just so excited, but like, I knew I wanted to tell Nick, but I also wanted to like surprise him in a way. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't tell Nick and I made, I didn't tell Nick for eight weeks that I was pregnant. Like I found out eight I weeks? was pregnant. Yeah. Eight weeks? <laughs> I found out I was pregnant like in the beginning. So for two months, I was just walking around this house and you were pregnant and you knew it? Yeah. What? I didn't, I, know. I didn't know that part. I, I, I didn't know it was eight I made weeks. a doctor's appointment and I, I went. So, okay, so I made a doctor's appointment. I didn't tell Nick. I went to the doctor's on my own. I sat in the waiting room forever. And then I went in and they did an ultrasound. And I heard the heartbeat. Like the baby was just like a blurb on the, in like the screen. But I heard the heartbeat and I was just, I just started crying. I was just so like excited. Something that like I had prayed for and wanted for so long. It was just like. Was that was before I knew. Yeah. Then I, my sister and I came up with this like idea that how we would tell Nick. So we kind of like put up a scavenger hunt. Remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, was, I remember. We sent little hunt. clues, um, like random parts of our house. It was on a Sunday because I went yeah. to church. Yeah, we've been put a clue in the church, <laughs> <laughs> and the, the way we made it was like. Um, we told Nick that it was against him and my brother-in-law, like who's going to like figure out the scavenger hunt yeah. first. <laughs> and so, so Nick was thinking he was like up against Peter, my brother-in-law. Yeah. So then we come home and the, I give Nick his final clue. I tell him we're pregnant and I show him the little picture and it was just so special. And, and he started crying mm. and I started crying. And it was just, it was just so beautiful. The moment, like something that we had wanted for so long. Mm -hmm. So I think like not even all, like two weeks had passed. Mm -hmm. And I know I remember exactly what I was doing. I was in the kitchen. I was making hamburgers mm -hmm. <laughs> from scratch. And I just felt like I started cramping really bad. Like I was leaning over um, onto mm -hmm. the counter and I was like, oh no. And because everything before before that even happened, she was all she was like, kind of bleeding yeah, spotting I, a lot she was spotting a lot from the day i found out i was pregnant from the very first time i took the test i started spotting every single time i went to the bathroom every single time and, and then so that was eight weeks of spotting yeah and when i went to the doctor they said it was fine and they when i heard the heartbeat i was like okay there's a heartbeat so i'm like i don't have to worry about the spotting mm -hmm. but in the back of my mind i always worried about the spotting mm -hmm. and then even yeah and i always worried once i found out she was pregnant i remember we even went to the beach and then she started spotting after we left the beach and i'm like yeah uh, i was like maybe maybe this is just what happens in the in the, the beginning. beginning yeah so so um you were making hamburgers i was making hamburgers i started like the worst cramps like i don't get cramps usually like on my period and so like these were cramps that like they kind of just like crippled you and i just hunched over and i ran to the bathroom and i was i was miscarrying like i knew like from mm -hmm. the amount of blood that that, that was and i was home during this time yeah yeah from the amount of blood that was there i just knew what was happening yeah and it's like something that i can't even explain like the feeling of being so excited for something. Yeah. And then losing it like that. And then it being taken away from you. Yeah. Yeah. I remember my sister was not even in town. She was out of the country and I just needed someone to talk to. Like, mm -hmm. Nick is my husband and he can support me. Mm -hmm. So, like, he can support me, like, a lot. But, like, under the surface, like, in my heart and how, what I was going through. Mm -hmm. It was so sad. Yeah, it was hard for me to really, you know, really... It's just, I mean, I'm hurting too, so I can't really. Yeah, like, I can hug her and how love does on a her, but yeah, like, help another another griever. Another griever. Another griever so yeah. we're both grieving, and and me witnessing it, it was it was hard for me even seeing it. Like it's it's a hard feeling knowing that you can't do anything about it. Like 
Yeah. What can you do? Like it's almost like it's it's losing someone. You're losing someone you love before you even get to know the person. So it was hard for me. And you know how it is when somebody loses someone. You can't. There's nothing you can say to to comfort that person. There's nothing you can do. All you can do is hold them, and you can say it's gonna be okay. But you know it's a grieving process that it really just takes time to yeah. to get through it. And I think what was so difficult with. I'm not sure if my, like how like if miscarriages are all the same, but with my miscarriage, what was so difficult is it's like a constant reminder because you don't just go to the bathroom, you bleed, and then it's done. Mm -hmm. It's like a constant like a week of bleeding, and mm -hmm. it was just like every time you go to the bathroom, you're like, oh my gosh, I was pregnant and it's gone. Like yeah. there is there is life that's just exiting me, you know. Yeah. Like your body is just like purging this human that it created mm -hmm. and, and it was just for whatever reason it was it was rejecting it yeah i never wish that on anyone mm -hmm. and it was hard like you can see like even thinking about like now i have two boys with, like mm -hmm. two healthy pregnancies but even like the thought of that one that we mm -hmm. lost yeah so that happened um i always cried about it every time i thought about it no one knew apart from nick and my sister no mm -hmm. one knew we were pregnant no one knew we miscarried mm -hmm. um and the part that is it's just the it's just the worst part is when everybody is around you saying when are you going to get pregnant not knowing that you just went through a miscarriage mm -hmm. that is very hard but you don't want to tell them that because you don't want them feeling bad and you don't even you just say yeah we're trying but, yeah, but that's what makes it hard when everyone's like when are you gonna get pregnant we're gonna have a baby around that time it was like it's like a memo went out for everyone to start asking us that yeah like, everyone was asking so you know you guys have been married for x amount of years like when are you gonna have a baby when are you gonna have a daughter or a son like yeah. everyone was asking and you know like when like you're already sad and someone's like is everything all right? You just want to start crying, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, and I was like, oh, well, whenever God blesses us with a child, yeah. but inside you're like, I just had a miscarriage yesterday. Like, get yeah. out of my face. Stop asking me these <laughs> questions. Like, that's really like how I wanted to be. She's like, going to punch him. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> and so like, yeah, that was hard. That's why I never ask people that question. I don't ask people when they're having a baby, if yeah. they're pregnant, like, because yeah. you don't know what people are going through. You don't know. You don't know. Yeah. And people are going to keep it private. They're not going to, if, if they don't talk to you, like on that personal level, they're not going to, they're not exactly. going to tell you. Yeah. yeah. You don't need to know. If, if they didn't tell you, don't ask. Yeah, don't ask. Mm -hmm. And so maybe a couple months go by and we got pregnant again. Got pregnant again. Yeah, got pregnant. This one was like out of the blue. I didn't expect it at all. Mm -hmm. And this time I miscarried at like six weeks. So it wasn't really like, I mean, it's still life, but it wasn't as far along. As far along. And I didn't think I got as attached to it. But once I miscarried, I felt attached to it. Yeah. Yeah. I felt like there was another life that my body was rejecting again. Mm -hmm. And from then, I was just sad all the time. And I was like, what can we do to get pregnant? Yeah. That's pretty much yeah, like... That, that became a goal, like yeah. almost an obsession. So let's say right then and there, we're Googling <laughs> everything. We're talking to people, asking them, you know, people giving us tips and stuff. People that don't know that we miscarry, but yeah. we just went on a rampage. <laughs> don't imagine a rampage. <laughs> <laughs> don't imagine that but it was a rampage yeah like but, talk about google sending each other links like we were like okay you gotta be healthy wear loose clothes da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> so we got an ovulation kit and we were trying to every oh, yeah. single time she ovulated we made sure yeah we were snatching we, our clothes we were, up. We, <laughs> <laughs> like i still have the paper in the bathroom i look at it every once in a while of like the ovulation kit like i taped all of them like in a row like every yeah. day um and so, like, when I knew I was ovulating, remember, like, I'm super, like, in tune with my body. So I could feel when I'm when I'm ovulating. But just to see it on that stick, it's like, what do I say? Yeah. Extra proof? No, I don't know what the word is. But it oh. was like, okay, but knowing, like, feeling that I was ovulating and having, like, the backup. Just, like, say, okay, yes, Angela, you're ovulating. So I was like, Nick, okay, right now we're ovulating. Yeah. And so we do what you need to do to get pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then when it's time for my either my period or pregnancy, we took a test. And no, no, no. Actually, I was away. And this time, I was in Spain, and mm -hmm. Nick was home. Mm -hmm. And he was talking to me every day, and he was like, you okay? Like, I don't know, he just sensed, like, 
Because yeah. I didn't know, but I knew, like, my period hadn't come. And, like, every day I was like, oh, my period's supposed to be here. My period's supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. And so I remember when I was in Spain and then I went, I got back to England. I went to, to a store and I bought a pregnancy test and I took it. As it was the day before I was flying back home mm -hmm. to Miami. And I took the test and um, it said positive. And, like, I didn't even cry. I was just like... <gasps> I was excited, but then I was like, I remember instantly, as soon as I took the test, I prayed. I, it was like one of those, it was like a beg pray. Mm -hmm. I remember praying, not even to God. It was like, I was praying to my body. Mm -hmm. I was saying, like, please do what you have to do. Like, whatever it is that was wrong with those two pregnancies, mm -hmm. just keep this baby. Mm -hmm. Amen. Like, I don't know, like. It was like, I don't know if you guys are believers or if you pray or if you've ever like prayed out of desperation. Mm -hmm. I was desperate to keep this baby. Mm -hmm. And so I remember I was like, please body, do what you have to do. Like, we're, I'm going to take care of you. Like, I'm going to be healthy. I'm going to eat right. I just want you to keep this baby alive. I did that. I came home. And as soon as I got home, I was like, Nick, I have something to show you. <laughs> And for some reason, while she was away, I, in my head, I was like, she's going to come home and she's going to say she's pregnant. I was like, look, and I showed them the stick and then we were so excited. Yep. And then I was like, <sighs> like, I was just so and we, excited. And then instantly we prayed together. Yeah. Like, we prayed together. We was like, no, that, no, devil, you are not taking this one. Yeah. This one is going to be full and healthy. And it was just something that I had. I was just like so grateful for. I'd stare at my belly yeah. every day in the mirror, take pictures. Like I was that mom. I would just took pictures of my belly all the time. I was just so excited, like ecstatically excited. Yeah. And so we went to all of our appointments and Nick went, Nick didn't miss a single appointment. He mm -hmm. went to every single appointment with me. So, so in total, we've had four pregnancies. Um, two of them went to term and two of them did not. Yeah. Um, we're so I'm grateful. Like, okay, so it's like hindsight is 2020. Like, we were pregnant, but we lost them. But then, but being able to get pregnant, I knew there was nothing wrong with my body, mm -hmm. you know, because my body knew how to get pregnant. It just didn't know how to keep them. And for whatever reason, maybe, maybe I was being spared from something that I couldn't handle, yeah. you know? And so we lost the two, but God bless us with two beautiful boys. So we're just here to tell you that if, if you're going through a miscarriage right now, or if you just recently miscarried and you're looking for some type of hope, there is hope. This this is not something that is uncommon. It happens with everyone, yeah. and they for say some it reason, happens a lot. A lot with first time pregnancies. Mm -hmm. So there's hope. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. But grieve if you need to grieve. Like this is the loss. Like, mm -hmm. You've lost. It's like a death. Yeah, it's and, a death in the family. It's and, absolutely a death, especially and, if 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 it was something that you were working hard to mm -hmm. to to conceive. It's absolutely. And one thing, like, I never, I never allow myself to be ashamed to cry over something that happened mm -hmm. even, like, I was, what, 10 weeks? And it happened years ago. Like, now I feel like it was years ago. Mm -hmm. But it's still, like, so, like, not sentimental. It's just something that I cry about when I think about. But I rejoice in the fact that I know that we now have two beautiful little boys. So mm -hmm. if this is something you've gone through, maybe it was last week, last year, years ago, um, just stay hopeful. Like, mm -hmm. um, we're going to pray for you. And we, we pray like if it's in your, if it's your desire to have it, to be a mom, mm -hmm. be a dad, be a surrogate, whatever it is, yeah. um, it will happen. Just yeah. stay hopeful. Yeah. Pray. Pray. Definitely. If, if Don't just pray with yourself. Pray with your spouse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whether you believe or not, just, you can still pray and, and believe and have hope that, mm -hmm. that you will overcome it because you will. That was our journey of trying to get pregnant and loss and then joy again, right? We call yeah. it joy. Yeah. So, um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. We're pretty transparent on this channel. Yes, yeah, very transparent. And um, yeah, so we definitely love to answer your questions. And if you want to contact us as well, um, you can hit us up on Instagram and uh, and, and leave us a, a DM, and mm -hmm. and we can definitely help you get through it and pray with you if you need us to, because we we know what it's like to to go through this, and we know that everyone just needs someone to talk to. So we're we're open books. What, as you can see, telling a story is is opening old wounds. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, we're open books and we're willing to help anyone. That's in our heart to help people. Yeah. And if you need us, we're here for you. Absolutely. I just want to quickly add one more thing. When he said that we'll pray for you, I remember being in the store with my sister one day 
and one of her coworkers came up to her and I'd never met this girl before. And she, my sister, this is my sister. And the lady gave me a hug and she said, oh, oh my goodness, I've heard so much about you. I've been praying for you. And I was just like, oh my, like hearing us someone was praying for us, something that we've been going, I don't even know if she knew like yeah. what like our struggles, but I was just like, wow, it's nice to know people are praying for you. I don't even know you. They don't even know you. Yeah. And we're here for you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, I know this video is super long. Yeah, we well, intended to be like kind of short. <laughs> yeah. So that was our story. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. And once again, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you do so now. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.